Okay, this is not the ideal situation to do an unboxing, but I'm going to try to do my best. So, what? This is the new Silhouette 4. So here we go. This is uh, for software download, a user guide, and free con content uh, subscription visit. That's the first paper. And uh, here we go. Here's all the cords and things like that. I'll set it over here. We'll open that in a little bit. Oh, yes. A brand new mat. And look. It's totally different from the previous silhouette mats. Uh, there is up arrow on both ends, so they've decided to make it where you can use it both directions. Although, I can see the numbers. Oh, okay. I love this. They've got all the numbers running across the top and down the side. And on some of my old mats, I took a Sharpie and I did just that. So, that's awesome. So, let's lay that over there. And, uh, let me bring you over here and real quick. And you can see there's really nothing else in this box but the silhouette itself. So we'll go ahead and open. I don't advise you to do it like this. <laughs> okay, I'm going to set it on the floor and pull it out. That would be my best bet. It's a little heavier than I thought it would be. There we go. Okay, this is not the ideal situation to do an unboxing, but I'm going to try to do my best. So, what? This is the new. Silhouette 4, you see? And, yeah, because I have the 3. I've run out of space in my craft room. If you could see the rest of the room, let me get this out of my way and make sure. Let me drop this down just. A little bit, and you can see how messy everything is. I use every little space in here, and I have larger rooms in my house. So, do you think I use them? No. So, here we go. This is uh, for software download, a user guide, and free con content uh, subscription visit. That's the first paper, and uh, here we go. Here's all the cords and things like that. I'll set it over here. We'll open that in a little bit. Oh, yes. A brand new mat. And look. It's totally different from the previous silhouette mats. Uh, there is up arrow on both ends. So they've decided to make it where you can use it both directions. Although, I can see the numbers. Oh, Okay, I love this. They've got all the numbers running across the top and down the side. And on some of my old mats, I took a Sharpie and I did just that. So, that's awesome. So, let's lay that over there. And, uh, let me bring you over here and real quick. And you can see... There's really nothing else in this box but the silhouette itself. So we'll go ahead and open that. And let me make sure after I've shook you. Okay. There we go. All right. Uh, oh, it's a little on the heavy side. I didn't have so much junk in here. 
well, it's not junk, it's my stuff. So I'm going to turn the box sideways. This may be a mistake. I don't advise you to do it like this. <laughs> okay, I'm going to set it on the floor and pull it out. That would be my best bet. It's a little heavier than I thought it would be. There we go. That. take a look at this. So this shows everything. It has a built-in roll feeder, a built-in vinyl cross cutter, that should be in the back. Increased speed and power, 3 millimeter clearance. If you know what a millimeter is. Uh, okay, it has auto blade, rotary blade, craft blade, and a punch tool. Not sure all that's in there, but we, we're going to find out. This just came from Creative Design and Supply today. They got their first shipment in, and they should be getting another shipment in here in a few days. So let's pull. Oh, that one's a glued. Protective styrofoam off of both ends and I don't like to tear into everything but I guess there's no other way to get all this off okay we got that off and it's as you can see it's well taped so to these. Pull this off there and <laughs> ah. that off. I don't know why these little pieces are here. Hmm. That doesn't make much sense unless I'll bet this it was supposed to pull this off, whatever this is. And the same over here. Let's see, I've got these. Maybe that'll do it. Looks like there's two. Let's see if this will. Nope. I'm not quite sure what that's all about. Ah, that's what that's all about. It just didn't take it. So, right, let's see, there must be one on here or not. I get the feeling there really is. Anyway, okay. Here we go. Oh, isn't that cool? It slides back. And we have a bunch more tape on the inside. Goodness sakes. Uh, here we go. It's just hard to get a hold of those little tabs. And the hands keep sliding right off of it. Mm. Uh, they're real slick. Tear anything up. Brand new. Here we go. Okay, there was one on both sides. I don't know if that comes out. Yeah, it does. This is just a uh, piece of foam core. And then let's remove. I'm having to lick my fingers in order to hang on to these here. Side. Here's another piece of foam core stuck up underneath uh, 
the blade unit. So now I will attempt to slide that over. Another piece of foam pour and styrofoam up in there. It looks like the only thing I have left is the blade housing. If I can get a hold of those. There we go. There we go. Now, I'm thinking that should be everything. You have to make sure that you remove, oh no, on the back. Okay, here's the back. I'm going to slide the door back over. Looks like there's just one piece here. Um, okay, that's... Uh, so there's some little uh, snaps that go up in there. You just push down on both of them on both sides and it literally drops out. Okay, I think I've figured this out. So you just take it and you've got these little things on both ends and they go in these holes here and they actually kind of snap in. You just kind of press on them, you'll hear a little click, and then in order to get the vinyl to come through, I think it's, it's funny, until I started filming, it was just here, so where is it, oh, both of these, you lift up on them, let's get this out of the way, make sure your cutter is off to the side, lift up on it like that and that kind of locks that way your vinyl will come through the back so it's a little locking mechanism and it's quite secure now.